Hey guys, I'm Stephanie, and this is Steph Stowe, and today we're making oven roasted Brussels sprouts. Now, if you're not a big fan of Brussels sprouts because you grew up eating the kinds that were kind of boiled or just kind of mushy and yuck, these are different. These are crunchy and crispy and just full of flavor. And just like in the title, they are ridiculously easy to make and so delicious. So let's get started and make these ridiculously easy Brussels sprouts. Here we go. All right, to start off, I have in here, these are one pound of little Brussels sprouts that I have washed them already. And I had them sitting in a dish towel to drain because you want these very dry before you start with them. So I'm gonna kind of open them up here and individually dry any extra moisture off. That will be very important because if not, then we're gonna end up with soggy Brussels sprouts. We're not steaming them. Remember, we're roasting them. So we want them crunchy and crispy, not mushy, like many of us probably, if we had them growing up, that's kind of the way that we had them. And for many people, it's kind of what turned them off to Brussels sprouts. So after I dry these, I'm gonna move these over to my cutting block here. Get all these little fellas off. And it's funny because as a kid, you can see little ones right here. It looks like a little baby cabbage. And I can remember the first time I ever had these little Brussels sprouts. I remember having them at my Aunt Patsy's house and she had little Brussels sprouts and I was fascinated because they were different and I had not had them. I was about six years old. And when she started fixing them, I was like, oh, a Brussels sprout. I didn't know what it was. And when I got it to the plate and I said, these are baby cabbage which is exactly kind of what they are. So you think it's in the same family, but it's this little baby cabbage. So in each one of these, what we're gonna do, we're gonna trim off this little tip in here, the little root part, and then we're going to slice them down the middle for two little even halves. So I'm gonna go through these and trim these and slice these up. I'm placing them in a bowl. This is just a little discard pile over here. And then, once I get these all trimmed, we'll be right back. All right, I got all of these sliced and the ends trimmed off of them. So to this, we're gonna add some olive oil. And so for our olive oil, we're gonna add two tablespoons. Just regular extra virgin olive oil. That's my oven's coming up to temperature. I had it preheated to 400 degrees. So remember, these are roasting, so they're gonna roast at a very high temperature. Get all that oil out. And then, after we add our olive oil to this, we're gonna add some kosher salt. And for our kosher salt, we're gonna add one teaspoon. And I like to use the coarse kosher salt. Right over there. We're gonna add a little black pepper to this. And our pepper we're gonna add is not quite as much. We're gonna add a fourth of a teaspoon of regular ground black pepper. And if you want to just crush some pepper with a pepper mill over it, that's fine too. You just want just a little bit over there. Now to this, we're also gonna add a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Garlic powder? Do you hear now, if you're not a fan of garlic powder, you could skip that part, but I like the flavor of it. I think it pairs nicely together. And then all we're gonna do is just take a little spatula and you're going to just coat these two combined because you want all of the little Brussels, the little sprouts to be well coated in the oil and in the seasoning. Now some of these outer leaves fall off, not a big deal. But you do want to be sure that all, everything is nicely coated. It looks like we're nicely coated there. Okay, and so I'm gonna move a, um, cookie sheet or a sheet pan over here. Now I don't have it lined. I'm not putting parchment on it, no silicone mat or anything. I want it just plain because I do want these to soak up and to caramelize. I want it to come really nicely from the pan. So let's move that to the side. Get these even on here. Now I do want these, I would say my little cut side down. So I'm gonna manually come in and flip these over and the oil will be just enough that we need to keep everything from really sticking a whole lot. Just make sure all of these are down because on this side, we want this nice 
caramel crust to develop. And again, I've got some little leaves that come off. Not a problem, they'll be just fine. Everything flipped over there. All right, and all the fingers are white. And we're gonna place this in the oven. Again, my oven is preheated already to 400 degrees. So this is gonna cook at a very high temperature. And when we put it in the oven, we're gonna cook it first for 15 minutes to start with. And then we're gonna stop, check it, shake our pan and cook it for a second 15 minutes for a total of 30 minutes. So let's get this popped in the oven. All right, it's been 15 minutes. So right now we want to go ahead and open it. Ooh, we got one to flip over. And we want to flip him back. Hey. And at this point, we just want to come in and give it a shake. And I apologize, it's a little noisy. So again, we want to give it a little shake. Kind of move around just a little bit. But we're not turning them because we want that nice crust to develop. I should do some of these to get these moved because you don't want them stuck. But again, you want that caramelization to start. And you can see our exterior leaves are already getting really crunchy, which is what we want. So this is where that the flavor will develop more and all of it crispy and just delicious. Try to spread them out just a little bit. Don't want them too close to each other. And then we'll put these back in the oven for another 15 minutes. All right, it's been 15 more minutes. So let's get these beauties out of the oven. Look at that. Look at those beautiful roasted Brussels sprouts. Now, look at, ah, dropped that one. It's, look at that. That's what we're looking for, that beautiful char on the bottom. Look at that gorgeous caramelization. So let's set these to the side and let them cool just a second and we'll get ready to try them. All right, after these have come out of the oven, I just want them to cool just a minute or two. And then we are gonna transfer these to a serving bowl. And you can hear how crispy even the leaves and the sprouts right there just how crispy they are. And look at that beautiful cam caramelization on the outside. They're tender, they're soft. They have a wonderful roasted flavor to them. Just delicious. So let's get them all over here in this bowl, ready to serve. You do wanna kinda of serve them warm. That's the way I prefer them. Of course, you know, everyone has their own preference, but I do prefer to eat them warm. You can eat these as they are, which is perfectly fine because they're nicely seasoned, which is a little bit of salt, pepper, the olive oil drizzled over them is just enough for flavoring at this point. However, if you would like just a little bit more, isn't that beautiful? If you'd like just a little bit more flavor, I've got some Parmesan cheese here that I'm gonna grate over the top. And again, you want to do this when they're warm. And it doesn't take a lot, but it's just a nice additive over the top. And it'll steam over them to make them just delicious. Kind of move them over so they melt nicely. So there we go. A ridiculously easy roasted Brussels sprouts. I'm Stephanie and this has been Steph Stowe. For today, we made these, what I like to call ridiculously easy roasted Brussels sprouts. Now, if you're not a Brussels sprout fan, this dish may change your mind. It's not the ones that we grew up on that were mushy, without flavor, and really taste like cabbage. These do not. They're roasted, crunchy, caramelized, just delish. So good. Mmm. 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 Ten.
tender when you get on the inside. Just delicious. So, I do hope you give this recipe a try. And if you're not already a Brussels sprout fan, again, this one may completely change your mind. So remember, give us a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button for more great content like this. And remember, Steph Stove, we're making memories one dish at a time. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great evening.